Hello and welcome to the Lamention Patch Tuesday Security Briefing for March 2014. This is Russ Ernst, Director of Product Management for Lamention. Microsoft released five updates for a total of 23 CVEs on today's March Patch Tuesday. Two patches are rated critical and the remaining bulletins are rated as important. Not surprisingly, the first on the list, MS14-012, is another cumulative update to all versions of Internet Explorer. It fixes 18 CVEs, including the IE Zero Day we saw last month that Microsoft announced with the release of Security Advisory 2934088 on February 19th. Anyway, it's cause for pause when we don't see an IE update on Microsoft's Patch Tuesday. It's a popular browser and a favorite among attackers. In fact, Internet Explorer accounted for 27% of all Microsoft reported vulnerabilities last year, making it the most targeted Microsoft application. Make sure while you're updating IE, you also include the Flash Player update from Adobe released on February 20th. MS14-013 is the second critical bulletin this month, addressing CVE 2014-0301. This vulnerability could allow a remote code execution in direct show for all supported versions of Windows. The attack method requires a user to click on a specially crafted JPEG file in IE, although there are no known active attacks. MS14-014 is an important rated bulletin for a security feature bypass in Silverlight for both Windows and Mac. There are no known active attacks at this time. Since this is a heterogeneous vulnerability, make sure your desktop team has their Macs in the update queue. Silverlight is no longer under active development by Microsoft, but the company has said they will support it through October 2021. CVE 2014-0323 and CVE 2014-0300 are both addressed in MS14-015. They are for vulnerabilities in Windows kernel mode driver that could allow a remote code execution. The final bulletin for this Patch Tuesday is MS14-016. It covers one CVE for a vulnerability in Security Account Manager remote protocol that could allow a security feature bypass. In this instance, an attacker could lock out a user account if they have account name using return status codes and brute force to break the password. This has been the Lumension Patch Tuesday Security Briefing for March 2014. Thanks for joining us.